so, the divorce man, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning, it was not so. Right. We understand that, right? Mm -hmm. Same page. Well, but, go ahead. he said, I thought Moses suffered for him because they mistreated him so bad that Moses suffered so that women could put me put away with the rich African of divorce. So, but even though being put away with divorce, you could not remarry nobody else until your husband was dead. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's still the same thing today. But yeah. Is that the same thing? Today? Yes, it's the same thing today. But they, also, they don't live it. Right. But uh, he said also that dealing with fornication and, and adultery, mm -hmm. adultery mainly, that even if a man should look upon a woman and love after her, he has committed adultery. We agree. Oh, we agree. We agree. See, Christ brought clarity to the law. We agree. We agree. I really he had to come and show us what things really meant because the thing is, is the rulers, which were the scribes and the Pharisees, right. they didn't have compassion for right. our brothers and sisters. Right. Okay. But watch this. We're going to go to Matthew chapter 5 and 17. Listen to this, sister. We're going to go back there. Ain't never going to go. Ain't going to go. But all we got to do is read it. And you're going to understand. Watch this. It's the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. Uh huh. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Think not that I come to destroy the law. Or the prophets fulfill it. No, we just showed you that he came to fulfill that which was, which was written of him. We showed you that. We proved it. Read on. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophet. Read. I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Read. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. So all be fulfilled. So we still got to read the law, right? That was, that was not good. Read, read that again. Read that again. Come on, Verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle, right. Right. shall in no wise pass from the law. Until what? Till all be fulfilled. As Christ come back and to save us. Alright, now I'm 
want you to listen to this part right here. One more. No, listen to this part. Read on. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. Now, what were the scribes and the Pharisees' righteousness? They didn't really understand. I'm okay. okay. I'm in the old I'm in the old church. Did not Christ say, did not Christ say, scribes and Pharisees tell you to do it. But he didn't know the practice. Did he say that or not? Yeah, he said it. He said, do what they tell you, right? So the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees is that they talk to God with you. Read that again. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. So your righteousness has to exceed the righteousness okay. of the teacher. Okay. Meaning that they were the scribes and Pharisees. They did not understand it. Well, well, right. well, when you say that, but I would agree with you that they, that they did not understand it. But I would say that the scribes and the Pharisees were hypocrites because they told the law, but they didn't they do the law. So read that again. Hello? 
law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. It actually converts the soul. So when the scripture in Acts chapter 3 tells you to repent and be converted, it's telling you to turn away from sin. Okay? Turn away from your bad deeds. That's how you repent. Okay? And you have to stay repentant. Because if you keep doing the wickedness of your flesh, you've never repented. And you're going to die. Okay? You're going to die. This is uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 14. Uh -huh. It says, blessed are they that do his commandments, That's right. that they may have the right to the tree of life, That's right. and may enter in through the gates into the city. And our people are blind, man. Okay? They're blinded. The scriptures are saying the same thing throughout the entirety of the Bible. That's, this. That's that. Strong moment. 